U.S. stocks, they're trading mostly higher this Tuesday afternoon right here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Reversing earlier losses, this as investors continue to take in the beginning of the Federal Reserve's two-day meeting. Meanwhile, on the economic front, the conference board's consumer confidence survey that came in for the month of April at a rate of 95.2%. However, that was still below expectations. Now, in the Forex market, the U.S. dollar still remaining under pressure against its counterparts. We first take a look at the Euro-U.S. dollar pair, which is right now 0.74% higher at a read of 109.84. At the same time, the British pound-U.S. dollar pair, that is about a half a percent higher at a read of 153.12. And the U.S. dollar-Japanese yen pair, 0.17% lower at a read of 118.88 yen. Meanwhile, the Australian dollar-U.S. dollar pair, that's in focus this afternoon as it has hit two targets at 0.7915 and 0.7940 in extension while remaining on the upside. Long positions above the new support at 0.7870 are favored with targets at 0.8030 and 0.8080 in extension. Moving on, precious metals continue to see further rise. We first take a look at gold prices, which are again in focus. Gold right now hitting a first target at 12.0940 and remaining on the upside. The relative strength index, that's well directed. And as long as 11.99 is the new support, look for further upside to 12.16 and even 12.24 in extension. And silver, 1.13% higher at a read of 16.58 a troy ounce. And don't forget to follow Trading Central on Twitter for all of your Forex market updates. And for Trading Central Web TV from the of the New York Stock Exchange. I'm James Swinney.